our 2020 graduates who will be led by the Quantum Temple Shriners.
Okay, I would like to call to the stage our senior choir, accompanied by their teacher, Mr. Justin Odwalk. Please remain standing if you're able for a national anthem, which will be sung by our senior choir. to call to the stage our graduate voices for BIPOC who will be giving the land acknowledgement. Good morning. The Louis Riel School Division brings together a community of schools on the traditional land of the Anishinaabek and Inuak in Dakota. Our division is located on the homeland of the Red River Métis. We recognize that Manitoba is also the traditional land of the Anishinaabek and Dene. We respect the treaties made on this land and acknowledge the harms and mistakes from the past and present. We dedicate ourselves to authentic alliances with indigenous communities in a spirit of reconciliation and cooperation. The ongoing development of the LRSD's land acknowledgement is guided by the Indigenous Council of Grandmothers and Grandfathers. We thank them for their gener generosity and collaboration. You may be seated. Graduate, honored guests, parents, grandparents, colleagues, and friends, it is my honor to welcome you to Dakota Collegiate's Convocation for the Class of 2022. My name is Melanie Romas, and along with my colleagues, Ray Jarvis and Kathy Ann Winters, we will be your Masters of Ceremony this morning. I would like to begin today's celebration by recognizing the following guests. Trustee, Mr. Chris Sigurdsson, Assistant Superintendent, Mrs. Darcy Cormack, Mr. Jamie Moses, Ms. Sandra DeBeer, Mr. Jerry Ilchena, Mr. Robert Riddle, and Brother Harry Stacy and Brother Don Paulus. We also have today with us distinguished guests who will be introduced as the awards and scholarships are presented. At this time, I would like to ask Trustee Chris Sigurdsson to bring greetings on behalf of the Lurie Rail School Division Board of Trustees. graduate of Dakota Collegiate, and I'm very proud to be here today. 
I think I'm missing something though. Hang on. Ah, there we are. Thank you. The past two and a half years have been underscored by a lot of uncertainty. Although the final years of your high school experience may not have been what you expected, today remains a celebration of you. Your achievements, your hard work, and your resilience. Time and time again, you rose to the challenge of navigating life in a pandemic and demonstrated an incredible ability to adapt. As a member of the Board of Trustees, I know how much work has gone into your education. The passion and commitment of teachers, staff, and families, the creativity in learning and lesson plans, the encouragement to be active and involved. I also know how much you've put in. You're the ones who took all the things that you learned and made them your own. You became critical thinkers, uncovered hidden talents, explored interests that might be leading you to some exciting career possibilities. You made your school a community, and now you're going to continue to build your communities beyond these walls. As we move into a more typical way of being, your generation will now help shape what is to be a new normal through your words and actions. The education you have worked so hard to achieve and your graduation, we are here to celebrate, has given you the tools to take your vision for a better world to the next level. As builders of our collective future, I want to thank you for the important journey you're about to embark on and encourage you, especially through these uncertain times, to continue showing that you can and will rise to any challenge that comes your way. Congratulations, graduates and families. Thank you. To present our diplomas of the ceremony and give the principal's message, I would like to call Ms. Jill Mathe to the stage. Good morning, everyone. Graduates, honored guests, parents, grandparents, and caregivers, I'm pleased to welcome you to Dakota Collegiate, and thank you for joining us as we celebrate the graduating class of 2022. After two years of delivering my remarks multiple times to separate small groups so that we could all be socially distanced, it's wonderful to see us all here gathered and hosting this remarkable event on Murray Field, the first of which we hope we have many more. Returning to school this past year reinforced what we came to understand during the pandemic, and that is the importance of belonging to a community. It's essential to our health and our well-being, and usually we are at our best when we come together for the common good and for the greater good. Being part of a strong and healthy community gives us safety and support, it gives us connection and belonging, and it keeps us moving in a positive direction. It leverages the strength of the larger group to accomplish big things. Ultimately, it challenges us to overcome barriers by working together and proving to ourselves that we can, in fact, do some really hard things. At Dakota Collegiate, we have a reputation for our achievement in the arts, athletics, and academics. In fact, I would argue that our Lancer community certainly enables this distinction. By being part of something bigger like Lancer Nation, I believe it fuels our fire to realize even greater individual and collective accomplishments. Over these past four years, graduates, you have all contributed to Lancer Nation community in a variety of ways. Some of you did it quietly and in the background, and some of you were more visible, but everyone did their part. Recognize graduates that in a world that sometimes seems to be struggling under the strain of intolerance, conflict, and inequality, our Lancer Nation community, you all rose above it all to achieve spectacular things. There are countless examples, examples but in the interest of keeping my marks brief, I'll only highlight a couple. When we heard what was happening in the Ukraine, our Lancer community mobilized 
and together we raised more than $2,200 through pierogi and bake sales. And we rounded out this effort by also collecting bags upon bags of clothing and non-perishable items for those in need. When the call came to resurrect the Canadian Cancer Society's Relay for Life, Dakota Collegiate was the only high school in Manitoba to do so. Our aim was to raise $6,000. But in true Lancer fashion, we crushed that number and we raised an unimaginable $26,000. an outstanding accomplishment and a tribute to this remarkable school community. When we decided to celebrate our 400 students born in one of 62 countries other than Canada, along with our more than 220 Indigenous students, we did it in a big way. We began the day with a multicultural themed fashion show and it truly epitomized the pride we should all feel for our individual and cultural identities when, it, when we come together to celebrate and appreciate others. There was an aura in the gym like we've never had before. Later that same day, we shared our rich cultural traditions, our beautiful regional clothing, and our delicious foods. It was one of the most meaningful and inspirational events we've had the privilege of hosting ever at Dakota. To close the evening celebration, most notably, but not surprising, everyone came together to participate in a round dance. It is, it is a traditional indigenous dance that encourages everyone to join in and become part of the dance circle, signifying that everyone is equal and everyone is an important member of the community. Last but certainly not least, at the beginning of June, we hosted the Jules Lavallee Memorial Graduation Powwow an amazing 120 Dakota graduates from the class of 2020, 2022 attended the celebration ceremony. A gesture exemplifying that indeed, we are not only Lancers for life, but we are allies for life. How fitting that the word Dakota in the Sioux language means the allies. Graduates, as you leave here today as a Lancer for life, and begin to venture into new communities, we encourage you to live up to the meaning of our school's name, especially when, when it comes to those who are marginalized and those discriminated against. We are very proud that during your time at Dakota, you've been able to create the kind of community we want to see everywhere, and we are confident that as graduates of Dakota Collegiate, your continued actions will make a difference in the world. Don't ever, ever hesitate to tap into that community spirit and the skills you've learned here at Dakota. And don't ever, ever hesitate to seek those opportunities to be the reason the community you are participating in is flourishing and making it a difference for the betterment of all. Congratulations to the class of 2022. We will now move on to the presentation of our diplomas, awards, and scholarships. The process will begin where each of our graduates on my right will enter the stage via the stage, sorry, via the stairs and walk across to receive their diploma and shake hands with Ms. Mathe and the vice principals. Each student will then exit down the opposite stairs. Midway, our graduates on our left will enter the will enter on the left side and follow the same process. Some of the students will also see, receive an award or scholarship, which will be awarded at this time. This happens rather quickly, so if you would like a picture, please be prepared in advance and then make, your, make room for other parents. For the order of when your graduate will receive their diploma, please refer to the insert in your program. It is customary to withhold your applause until all the graduates have received their diploma. I would like now to introduce Mrs. Kathy Ann Steve Mrs. Kathy Ann Winters, who will be our first Master of Ceremony.
I think we're just waiting for the slideshow to catch up to where we are. Tagir Abdullin, I'd like to thank my family and friends for all their support over the last four years. Gufran Ahmed, I'd like to thank my teachers, my friends, and my parents for going through the, with this for four years. Shams Al Shamari, I'm proud of myself for making it this far, and I'm grateful to everyone who supported me along the way. I'm very thankful to the friends that I made throughout my four years here at Dakota. My teachers who helped me get this far and my family who encouraged me to work hard and to do my best. It is because of these people that I feel ready for what happens next after graduating. Jaheed Ali, I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take a risk. Never be discouraged, never look back, give everything you got and when you fall throughout life, fall forward. I would also like to take this time to thank my mom, dad, brother, the rest of my family, and friends for supporting me. Matthias Amsler. There was once a wise man who told himself the same quote every day and became the best at what he did. His name is Ricky Bobby, and he said, if you ain't first, you're last. Aiden Anderson. I want to thank all the people who supported me in my life. I wouldn't be able to make it to this point without you guys. Thank you. Seth Anderson. Thanks to my parents and coaches for supporting me through my years here. Aiden Arthur Thompson. I'm thankful for my friends, family, teachers, and all the memories I've made. Addis Bauer. I'm very thankful to my parents for always believing in me, always pushing me to be the best person I can, and always being there if I needed a shoulder to lean on. Fernando Barillas. After graduation, I plan to attend the University of Manitoba and pursue a career in medicine. I wish all my peers only the absolute best in whatever they go into. Finally, I'd like to thank my parents for the constant support. Fernando is also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba and has received the Mathematics Science Honors Award. The Math Science Honors Award recognizes those students who have a special interest and aptitude for science and math. To be eligible for this certificate, students must achieve a credit and at least 10 specified science, math, or computer science courses and attain a mark of at least 80% in each of those courses. Congratulations. Emily Barker. I want to say thank you to my mom and dad for always supporting me, my friends and family, and of course, Ms. M for the daily library chats. Emily Dion Bento. Let's pray we stay young, stay made out of lightning. Marta Bergo, thank you, Canada, for everything. I will never forget you.
Ольга Болтушенко. Слава Україні! Connor Bruce. I would like to thank my family and friends for supporting me through these last four years, and I am excited to see what the future holds for me. The Eden Cedar Wall. I want to thank my mother. She raised me to be who I am, and if not for her constant support and sacrifices she's made, I wouldn't be where I am today. Ana Luisa Andretta Saurin. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Adi Shahan. I'm very thankful for my family, friends, and teachers who helped me get to this point. Ruby Chen. I'm thankful for my friends, family, and teachers who have gotten me through these four years of high school. Spencer Collison. After graduation, I plan on moving into the Faculty of Law to pursue a career in criminal law. Russell Cormier. I had no idea what I was doing and I faked it and it worked. <laughs> Kate Cornbrough. I want to thank my friends and family, especially my mom, for everything. They do a lot for me and I couldn't have done it without them. Reese Coulter. I'd like to thank my computer for keeping me company the last two years and the teachers who persevered through COVID. Haley Koyston. I am thankful for all the memories I've made at Dakota and I am excited to see where this next chapter takes me. Riley Cruz. This graduation is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Play now for free. <laughs> Ayatunde Dada. Thank you to my family for supporting me. Thank you to my friends for making high school fun. And thank you to my teachers for holding me accountable and pushing me through. They are also receiving a Mathematics Science Honors Award. Congratulations. Abhishek Das. I'm very thankful for my grandparents who worked so hard to give our family so much. I also want to thank my nanny for helping us to settle in Canada. Finally, I thank my parents for supporting me and my decisions. Tyrell Davis. I'd like to thank everyone who helped me through my high school journey. Never let your success go to your head. Never let your failures go to your heart. Rena debates. The past four years at Dakota have been unforgettable. Between meeting new friends and trying new things, my time here has been so much fun. 
I'm looking forward to starting the next chapter of my life and seeing what new adventures await. Raina is also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Giada degli Santi, thank you for this experience and for the people that I met in Canada. Doriana Di Maggio, don't be afraid to show yourself for who you really are. Sarah Duchamp, every accomplishment starts with a decision to try. I am thinking about my dad today. He inspired me to keep going. Asher Dudek, I worked for this moment for four years and I can't really think of anything memorable. Can I get an extension, please? Thank you to my friends for helping me out and getting me out of bed each morning. Julia Chua. I thank your Dakota staff and students for making these past four years some of the best of my life. Ija Ezra. People's lives don't end when they die. It ends when they lose faith. Alex Finley, success doesn't rush. The greatest reward is the journey. Tristan Flockton, your future is only as good as the work you put into it. Dempsey Francis, one who travels the fastest travels alone, but the one that travels the farthest travels with others. I would like to thank all of my friends who have helped me along the way and I wish them the best of luck in their future travels. They are also receiving a Mathematics Science Honors Award as well as an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. Parker Goddess. Losers focus on winners, winners focus on winning. I wanna thank my friends for making my high school experience memorable and my family for helping me get through it. Max Gerber, I am thankful for my teachers and family for making me who I am today. Max is also receiving a Mathematics Science Honors Award. They are also the recipient of the Counselor's Citizenship Award. This award, supported by Counselor Brian Mays, is given to a student who has shown a commitment to academics, has displayed quality, qualities of leadership, demonstrated respect for staff and peers, and displayed good sportsmanship. Congratulations, Max. Daniel Gorin. Thank you to my family, friends, and teachers for helping me through my high school journey. Dear Gupta, I am grateful for my family and peers that have helped me get this far. Although I'm graduating, it's not the end, it's the beginning. Taya Highway, thank you to everyone who helped me get here today. I couldn't have done it without you.
Mania Ho. During these four years, I am so thankful to my family because they always support me. I also have to thank you teachers who helped me all the time in my class. I am so thankful for my friends. I am so happy that I met you in the school. We worked hard together and you always helped me when I had a problem. Madison Hopkins. I am very thankful to the amazing people I have met during my four years at Dakota, as well as my teachers and my family for helping me become the person I am today. I am so excited to see what my university years will bring. William Hu. Although I feel a bit sad leaving, I'm very excited to move on and to start another chapter in my life with a lot of exciting all-nighters in coding. They are also receiving a Mathematic Science Honors Award. They are also the recipient of the Dakota Lancer Achievement Award. This award recognizes the contributions of students who, throughout their time at Dakota Collegiate, have demonstrated qualities that are valued in our school community. Congratulations. Tao Ming Hu, I am really glad I'm able to graduate from Dakota. I would like to thank my family, including my parents, and everyone else back in China for raising me. I also thank all the teachers I've had in the past four years. Laiba Javed, thank you and goodbye. Chase Jensen, uh, I'm thankful for my mom for waking me up every day so I didn't need to use an alarm clock. Walid Kais, I want to thank my family, friends, and staff for guiding me through the past four years. Macy Kalita, every person you meet knows something you don't. Learn from them. Macy is also the recipient of the Murray Galab Teaching Innovation Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a student who is pursuing post-secondary studies in education and has shown innovation in expression of their ideas while being involved in a school community or project. Congratulations, Macy. Harshdeep Kaur, sometimes life is like this dark tunnel. You can't always see the light at the end of the tunnel, but if you just keep moving, you will come to a better place. Safe to say, I found my light out of the dark. Simran Kaur, I'm very thankful for my amazing friends and family who have melded me into the person I am today. I can't wait to see what else life has in store for me. Cushy Cushy, I'm very thankful to my teachers who supported me in my ups and downs. Love, Dakota. Jisoo Kim, my experience at Dakota made me a stronger person. Thank you to my family, friends, and teachers who have always been my strength and inspiration for four years. They are also the recipient of the Heidi Murray Memorial Scholarship Award. I'd like to call up Mr. Robbie Scott to present this award. This scholarship has been created in the memory of Heidi Murray, a Dakota Collegiate art teacher who passed away in 2006. This award goes to an art student who has demonstrated school leadership and high achievement in the area of art during their years at Dakota. Congratulations. Maya Nelson. I want to thank Ms. Farrow for making me feel like a poet. 
I'm happier to be known for that than for having kidney failure. They are also the recipient of the Riverside Lionel's Personal Achievement Award. This award was created in honor of Maude Borks. Dakota Collegiate is honored by the Riverside Lionel's continued support and generosity. This year's recipient has demonstrated that determination, perseverance, and motivation are qualities that can help to achieve goals. Ethan Koltoff. I'm very thankful for friends, family, and teachers who have pushed me and supported me to get where I am now. Although I am graduating, it's not the end. It's the start of a new beginning. Jocelyn Cotchen. I want to thank everyone who has helped me to finish this part of my journey. Mitch LaForest, our Kukums and Mushums would have been proud. Costante Mantovani, I'm grateful for this opportunity. I will always remember my time in Canada. Masuma Zumiat. I want to thank all my teachers and friends that helped me throughout this year. I want to especially thank my wonderful parents that helped me achieve the person I am today. I feel so good to graduate, but I will miss the memories I made at this place. I would also like to thank my older sister, Saleha, who helped me navigate high school. Thank you. Adrian McAlpine. Thank you to my family, friends, and teachers for supporting me during my time at Dakota Collegiate. Silvia Mondelli. Thank you to the school, my host family, and my friends for making this an amazing part of my journey. Madison Mosher. Life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. Peter Olalea. I am thankful for all the teachers that taught me all the way from grade nine to grade 12, including my coaches that taught me the importance of teamwork and being diligent in whatever I do. Also, thank you to all my classmates and my friends that I've made along the way. Love y'all for real. And last but not least, thank you to my parents who have always kept me on my feet and helped me in making the right decisions. Honestly, I cannot thank you enough, and I hope I've made both of you proud. Linda O. Oh. Thank you to my parents for supporting me in coming to Canada. I have made unforgettable memories during my high school life. The road of life is long and hard, and I am still going forward and never giving up. I would like to thank my parents, my teachers, and my friends for always helping and encouraging me during my school years. I will always miss my teachers and my friends. City Parisian. Because God said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. They are also the recipient of the Luriel School Division's Educational Assistance Scholarship. I would like to call up upon Miss Jessica Yakachek to present this award. This scholarship is presented to a student who shows exemplary character and has overcome adversity to complete high school. Congratulations. Sam Parisian. 
I plan to attend the U of M so I can someday pursue a career in medicine. However, this wouldn't be possible without the support and inspiration that my parents have given me throughout the years. I can't wait to continue my journey in university and I wish my peers the best of luck. They are also receiving a Mathematic Science Honors Award. Congratulations. Grace Pajak. After graduation, I plan to attend University of Manitoba to pursue a degree in kinesiology. I want to thank my family who helped me switch schools in the middle of this pandemic and my friends who welcomed me in. They are also the recipient of the Beaver Ionic Masonic Lodge Bursary. I'd like to call upon Brother Harold Stacy to present this bursary. This award, sponsored by the Beaver Ionic Masonic Lodge No. 25, is given to a student who has committed time to her community and achieves personal academic excellence. Congratulations, Grace. Polina Pichinenko. Rozširivati svoje znanja možno tylko tadi, kiedy dziwisz się prямo w oczy swojemu neznaniu. Pauline is also the recipient of the Real, Real Elevate Endowment Fund Bursary. I'd like to call upon Ms. Sandra DeBeer to present this bursary. This bursary is awarded to a student who has achieved good marks and is committed to pursuing post-secondary education. Congratulations, Paulina. Gabriela Fenink. Thanks to my family for providing me with this experience and to my friends for making it even better. Ritra Prabhahara. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. They are also receiving a Chartered Professional Accountant Scholarship. Congratulations. Mayor Ab Kwasi. The future is uncertain, but as long as you're with people you love, everything will be all right. Mayor is also receiving a University of Toronto Scarborough Life Sciences Entrance Scholarship. Congratulations. Jack Reader, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pockets. <laughs> Kieran Reimer, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Dallas Roberty, thank you to my family and all of the teachers who have helped me to get here today. Maria Ruiz, el futuro pertenece a los que creen en la belleza de sus sueños. Eleanor Rosenbaum, gracias a todos los que me han permitido creer en mis sueños. Jaden Solomon, thank you to my parents and friends for getting me through the last four years and to my teachers for helping me learn a lot of things that I've probably already forgotten. I look forward to what comes next. Alberto Sanchez Naranjo, you are always one decision away from a completely different life. Alberto is also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. Uh, 
Ryan Schultz. I'm very thankful for my family and friends who have supported me through my life. Joelle Smith. The only time I look back is to see how far I've come. Mandy Smith. I'm very grateful for the experience I've had through high school and the people I met along the way. Without some of the staff and peers, I would not have become the woman I have. From the pep rallies to hanging out in the cafeteria, every bit has molded me to become who I am. I will forever be thankful for the experience and opportunities Dakota Collegiate provided for me during my time there. Torrance St. Laurent. After graduation, I plan to attend the University of Manitoba to pursue a degree in nursing. Torrance is receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. They are also the recipient of the Vista Place Physiotherapy Scholarship. This award was established by the Vista Place Physiotherapy and Sports Injury Centre to recognize students who have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of sport as a player, coach or referee and displays quality of character on and off the ice, surface, court or field. Congratulations. Jackson Stark, work hard, stay humble. <laughs> they are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba and a Mathematic Science Award. Jackson is also the recipient of the Jerry and Jerry Elchina Scholarship. I would like to call upon Mr. Jerry Elchina to present this scholarship. This scholarship is for a student who is registered for post-secondary education and has participated in the Dakota Collegiate Athletic Community and for whom the Lancer spirit is of significant importance. The recipient strives for personal academic excellence while remaining immersed in the Lancer culture. Congratulations, Jackson. Kristen Turner, thanks to my teachers, friends, and family, I did it. I graduated. Tom Uche Uche. I'm very thankful for every teacher I've ever had through high school. In one way or another, they taught me not just the content, but the qualities and skills that I can use for the rest of my life. For Com that, I am forever grateful. Com is the recipient of the Marianus and Dina Van Hall Scholarship. The purpose of this award is, award is to recognize academic achievement and community service. The recipient of this award should have post-secondary plans related to business or agriculture. Congratulations, Com. Savannah Weed. I'd like to thank my friends, teachers, and family for supporting me throughout my time here at Dakota. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for me. Kaylin Weems, thank you to the people that pushed me to get through. I wouldn't be up here without you. Jenna Willimant, I'd like to thank my friends, teachers, and family for supporting me throughout my time here at Dakota. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for me. Ilzi Shaw, I'm very thankful for my parents who always supported my decision and encouraged me. I'd also like to thank my wonderful friends and teachers for making my high school experience special. 
UC is also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce Mr. Ray Jarvis, who will be our next Master of Ceremonies. Aya Oberman. It has been a memorable journey. I was able to meet such wonderful people and lifelong friends. This chapter of my life is over, and I cannot wait to see what life has for me next. Taha Ali. Thank you to my friends for always supporting me and to my siblings for making me smile on tough days. Thank you so much to Ms. Sewell for the endless love and hugs. You all have made me who I am today. I can't wait to see what the world has to offer me. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba and a scholarship from Shad, Canada. They are also the recipient of the One Insurance Award. These awards are presented to students who have shown dedication to the school over the years, has demonstrated commitment to the community by getting involved, and has volunteered with local organizations or committees to assist them to succeed with their initiatives. Congratulations. Momna Arshad. As I walk across the stage today, I look forward to the day that I walk across another stage, but this time to receive my white coat. They are also receiving a Math and Science Honors Award. Congratulations. Emma Ashett. Be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. They are also the recipient of the Vladimir Admoff Bursary. This award is presented to a student with an interest in music, sports, science, outdoor education, ecology, and addressing matters of climate change. Congratulations. Eamon Asher. Brown eyes and a mind full of thoughts. Garum Asefa. I would like to thank my family and friends for helping me throughout my high school journey and the teachers and staff that educated me these past four years. I wish the best to all the other graduates. Grace Asefa. In these past four years, none of my success could have been possible without the teachers I had to support me, the friends I made along the way, and my family who always pushed me to be the best version of myself. I appreciate and will cherish everyone who's aided me in growing into the woman I am today. Thank you and God bless. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba and they're also a recipient of the One Insurance Award. These awards are presented to students who have shown dedication to their school over the years and has demonstrated commitment to their community by getting involved and has volunteered with local organizations or committees to assist them to succeed with their initiatives. Congratulations, Grace. Soleil Atta. I am thankful to my teachers friends, and family for helping me come another step closer to achieving success. Nicholas Bobkov. Inside of a ring or out, ain't nothing wrong with going down. It's staying down that's wrong. Jenna Bridges. Thank you to my family, friends, and teachers for helping me learn and grow into who I am today. I look forward to what the future holds and hope some of you stay with me for the journey. Krista Brown. I'd like to thank my family and friends for helping me through high school.
Kean Campbell. Thank you to all my friends, teachers, and coaches for making the past four years at Dakota so memorable. Rashawn Campbell. Money doesn't feel real, but my friends do. They are also receiving the Math Science Honors Award. Congratulations. Shaina Chahan. I am thankful to my parents who have supported me and always inspired me to give my greatest effort in life. Thank you to my friends and teachers who have made my experience at Dakota memorable and something I won't forget. Remember that life isn't about being perfect, it's about accomplishing your dreams. Zara Debo, thank you to my family, friends, and teachers for the support and joy that they have given me. Joe DiBernardo. I'm thankful for my family, friends, and coaches for making me the person I am today. Chanel Dizon. I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers who have supported me throughout this whole journey and for molding me into the person I am today. I'll forever be grateful for everyone who made these past four years memorable. Best of luck to everyone. Anna Kadriger. In the wise words of Mr. Worldwide, every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of British Columbia, and they are also the recipient of the Life Touch Photo Student Rec Recognition Award. This award and watch is presented to a student who is academically strong and involved in school life by promoting school spirit. This student needs to have made a significant contribution to the school during his or her graduating year. This contribution should promote Lancer pride in the school and during activities. Congratulations, Anna. Kusha Farukpur. I want to thank my family for always supporting me and thank my friend for making high school the best four years of my life. Without the support of my family and friends, I'm sure high school wouldn't be as memorable as it is now. Tyler Fawcett. Well, school is finally done. I finally made it through everything that's been leading me to this moment. And I'd like to thank everyone that's been there for me from middle school to high school, from my grandparents to my friends. But I'd like to give the most special thanks to my mother the woman who has always empowered me to be everything, and you not being here is the hardest thing ever. But I know you're somewhere looking down at all of us. I love you, Mom. Thank you for absolutely everything that you've done, and I'm happy to know that you're at peace. They are also the recipient, recipient of the Ted and Edna Poulter Scholarship. I would like to call, call upon Mr. Ryan Hudson to present this scholarship. Mr. Poulter and the former, was a former vice principal of uh, Dakota Collegiate. This scholarship is presented to a graduate who is enrolling in University One and joining St. John's College. The recipient is a leader in student affairs and school-related activities. Congratulations, Tyler. Cassidy Federer. The more you like yourself, the less you are like anyone else, which makes you unique. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Regina. Congratulations. Alexandra Finbogason. After graduation, I plan on attending the U of M in the Faculty of Science. I would like to thank my parents because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here today. They are receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba in the Faculty of Science. They're also the recipient of the St. Patel, St. Boniface, Norwood Retired Teachers and Support Staff Association Riel uh, Chapter Bursary. Created by former uh, teachers and support staff of the now Louis Riel School Division, this award is given out to all eight high schools. Recipients are students who have been, who've given their community and have worked for personal excellence and who have intended, intend to pursue an education at post-secondary levels. 
Finally, they're also the recipient of the Victor Marie Wyatt uh, Student Scholarship. Victor Wyatt, a long life, long educator in St. Patel, along with his wife Marie, established a bursary and scholarship program to be awarded annually, annually to students graduating from St. Patel High School. Three scholarships are given each year to students who have achieved high academic standing in their graduating year. Congratulations. Alexander Genick. Thank you to my family for supporting my choices, encouraging me to follow the career path that suits me best and always being there for me when I needed support most. Thank you to my friends for the good times both in school and out of school, and I look forward to having even more fun in the future. I wish all of my peers good luck in their lives. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba Faculty of Science, and they are also receiving a Mathematics Science Honors Award. Congratulations. Cole George, thank you everyone. Davide Guariglia, I'm very thankful for my family who gave me this opportunity to live a year in another country and molded me into the person I am today. I also want to thank my host family for making me a part of their family. Navika Gupta, I would like to thank all my teachers, family and friends for helping me throughout my four-year journey at Dakota Collegiate. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba and a Math Science Honors Award. Congratulations. Siam Gupta, I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for helping me throughout my school journey. Kaylee Harris. Stars shine brightest when the night is darkest, but the night is always darkest before the first light of dawn. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba Faculty of Science. Congratulations. Jordan Henry. I am very thankful I have amazing family and friends who continue to support me. I'm looking forward to whatever life has in store for me next. Madison Hope. Thank you to my friends, family, and teachers for helping me through high school. I couldn't have done it without your support and guidance. Layla Hotain Daniels. I'm thankful for my friends and family who were by my side through my high school journey. Nisha Hunter. Thank you to my parents and friends for giving me endless support and encouragement throughout the years. Mirha Irshad. I'd like to thank my family and friends for helping me through the past four years. It was a pleasure, four years down, eight more to go. Connor Jardine. Thanks to everyone who helped me graduate. Trust Jude Ogu. I would like to thank my parents for their ongoing support and encouragement that helped me to reach my full academic potential as I progressed through my four years in high school. I'd also like to express my appreciation for all school staff, most especially our teachers and our student service teacher, Mr. Shapiro, who have worked incredibly hard through such an unpredictable and stressful school year. 
Thank you all for doing your best to help me benefit as much as I could from my secondary education. Farewell. They are also recipient of the Partners in Education Award Red River College. The recipient of this award must be registered in the full-time program and have the highest graduating average entering into Red River College. Congratulations, Tribe. Aisha Kaneko. Firstly, I would like to say that I've been truly blessed with my parents for being so easygoing throughout my high school experience and appreciating my efforts even through the hard times. At the end of the day, there's no regrets in life, just lessons. Nadia Kamini. I am grateful for my teachers who pushed me into further believing in myself and my brother who always reminded me to be setting higher standards and always striving for more. They were also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. Adnan Shalo. Thanks to my family, I graduated. Now I move on to the next chapter of my life. Muhammad Khan, while it is always best to believe in oneself, a little help from others can be a great blessing. Waleed Khan, we must remember that the path ahead of us is long and unforgiving. Perseverance surely goes a long way. I'd like to thank all my teachers for making me the person I am today. I truly wish you all the best. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. Thomas Kiesman. Thank you to all my teachers and coaches who have helped me succeed during my time at Dakota. Jessica Knight. Well, I'm not usually one for speeches, so goodbye. Jessica is also receiving the Casera Credit Union Limited Award. I'd like to call upon Robert Riddell to present this award. This award has been created to support a graduating student who has demonstrated community involvement, participation in school activities, and superior academic achievement. Congratulations, Jessica. Selena Latica. I would like to thank my friend Natasha for all the great memories we've made together and for sticking by my side. I'd also like to thank my brother for always helping me and making life so much better. Finally, I'd like to thank my parents for always being by my side when I need them the most. Emily Langstaff. After graduation, I plan to attend the University of Manitoba to study kinesiology. Thank you to everyone who helped me throughout my high school experience. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations, Emily. Krista Laxdahl. Thanks to my family for providing me with everything I needed to succeed and my friends who made coming to school every day a great experience. Ethan Lefebvre, it always seems impossible until it's done. Thanks to all the people who helped me get here. Eliana Lagessa, I'd like to thank my friends and family for their constant love and support throughout my high school journey. They are receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba, and they're also receiving a Math Science Honors Award. Congratulations. Mackenzie Larrero, change the game, don't let the game change you.
Hannah McClements. The F in frog stands for friendship. The R in frog stands for respect. The O in frog stands for optimism. The G in frog stands for green. They are also the recipient of the Lillian Hahn History Award. Lillian Hahn was a former social studies teacher and department head of Dakota Collegiate. Since her passing, her family has awarded a cash reward to students with a top mark in History 40F. Congratulations. Denia Meharitab. Thank you to all my friends, family, and staff for supporting me for the past four years. I am both happy and sad to leave and start new again, but I am proud to take the lessons and memories with me. Thank you. Vatsal Nishki. I am very thankful to my parents and teachers for always supporting me and guiding me into becoming the best version of myself. I would also like to thank my friends for making my high school experience a memorable one. They are receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. They're also receiving a Math Science Honors Award. And they are also the recipient of the MLA for St. Norbert Seine River Awards Scholarship. This award, supported by Marcus Chambers, recognizes a student who is committed to volunteering in their community and or has demonstrated equity and inclusion in their day-to-day -day lives. Congratulations. Maria Molero Valencia. Don't be afraid of challenges, they make you brave. Natalie Mudamiri, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it. Grace Monroe. I want to say thank you to my mom and dad for always being there to support and guide me in life. I'm so grateful for you both. They are also the recipient of the Dan Van Dale Youth Initiative Award. This award is presented for leadership in one of the following areas, youth engagement in government process, mentorship, or the environment. The recipient has made contributions to their school and community and has motivated others towards a common goal and has achieved the above on a volunteer basis. Congratulations, Grace. Christian Murray. Thank you to all my friends that stuck with me throughout the years here. Liwa Despoa Nziza. Thank you to my family for being there for me and supporting me. Also, thank you to Dakota for supporting me academically. Chinonso Angelica. In my time at Dakota, I learned many great lessons from my parents, peers, teachers, and teammates. Thank you all for getting me through these past four years, even though it felt like two. Corin North. To the two people who helped me make it to today, thank you. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. Liana Novencito. You are educated. Your certification is your degree. You may think of it as your ticket to life. Let me ask you to think of an alternative. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba, a Math Science Honors Award, and finally, they were the recipient of the MLA for St. Vitale Award. I'd like to call upon Mr. Janie Moses to present this award. This award, supported by Jamie Moses, is designed to empower and support a graduating student who has overcome challenges to complete high school. Congratulations. Sawyer Nurse, 
I'd like to thank my friends for getting me through some of the darkest times of my life. David Ogunfolaji. My favorite memory is the four years I've had with the football team. This is because we've gotten so close with each other and we've formed the brotherhood. I love the guys so much that I'm willing to take them any time to play with me, although it doesn't work like that. Thanks, Dakota. Miracle or COVID? First, I would like to thank my parents. Mom and Dad, I know that I don't say thank you as much as I should, but I'm truly grateful for everything you've both done for me. I hope you know that I always love you both with all my heart. Thank you. I would also like to thank my friends. Thank you for being my unpaid therapist. Thank you guys so much for making my high school years not only bearable, but awesome too. Lastly, I want to say thank you to students, teachers, and staff. Thank you for everything you've done for me for the last four years. I couldn't have done it without any of you. They are also receiving the Math Science Honors Award and the recipient of the Victor Marie Wyatt Student Scholarship. Victor White was a lifelong educator in St. Patel along with his wife, Maria. He established a bursary and a scholarship program to be awarded annually to students graduating from St. Patel High School. Three scholarships were given each year to students who have achieved high academic standing in their graduating year. Congratulations. Olivia Onischuk. Thanks to my family and friends, I appreciate everything you do for me. Tatiana Ortiz. Thank you to my amazing friends and peers. It's because of you I will cherish these last four years. Jonah Oakley. I would like to thank my family for supporting me in high school, especially my mom, who has dedicated many hours of her life to help me with homework. I would like to thank my teachers, friends, and my family that have stuck by my side throughout my education and for making my life a bit easier. Thank you all for letting me make unforgettable and sweet memories throughout my high school years. Chef Patel, I feel so good and yet so bad leaving such an amazing institution. They are also recipient of the Mass Science Honors Award and also a recipient of the Louis Riel Association Scholarship. This scholarship is given on behalf of Louis Riel Teachers Association to a student who has combined involvement in school activities, the community, and intends to pursue a career in public education. Congratulations. Leah Pollock. I wanna say a big thank you to my teachers, coaches, friends, and family for making these past couple years so memorable. I wouldn't be who I am today without you all, and I can't wait to see what awaits for me next. Brayden Peterson. My favorite memory from school was meeting new people and finding things that I am interested in and could see myself doing it for a long time. Caleb Peterson. I've had some ups and downs through high school, but I managed to get here all the same. Travis Penner. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Kira Prasad, high school has brought me so many opportunities that I will forever be grateful for. I got to experience and share some of my passions with my amazing friends, meet and learn from lots of inspirational teachers, and all while I was growing as an individual myself. Many of my experiences high school has shown me has had a big impact on my life, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future has in store for me. 
They were also receiving an entrance scholarship to Aveda Institute, and they also the recipient of the Dakota Lancer Achievement Awards. These awards recognize the contributions of students who, throughout their time at Dakota Collegiate, have demonstrated qualities that are valued in our school community. Congratulations. Rowan Peterson. Thank you to my friends and teachers for helping me get through these past four years and preparing me for a successful future. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. Janam Prajapati. Thank you to all my friends who helped me get through high school. Lucas Redmond. I'd like to thank all of my teachers and coaches who have helped me get to where I am today. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Waterloo and receiving a Math Science Honors Award. Congratulations. Austin Lo Chaudhary. I'm very thankful for my family, friends, teachers, and peers who have helped me and guided me throughout high school for the past four years through the ups and downs and helping me resolve my problems. Yet again, thank you all for what you've done. There's still more left to come. Austin's also receiving a Math Science Honors Award. Congratulations. Mary Sable. Thanks to the One Way Hallways for giving me the cardio at eight in the morning. I'd also like to say thanks to my mom. Thanks, mom. John Surpras, destiny is no matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. It's not a thing to be waited for, it's a thing to be achieved. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to Oral Roberts University. Congratulations. Julia Swatsky, to my mom, dad, Jason, siblings, friends, and teachers, thank you for everything. I have loved my time at Dakota, and I am so thankful for all of the memories and opportunities it has given me. They are receiving an entrance scholarship to the uh, Canadian Mennonite University. They are also the recipient of the Derek Toomey Memorial Volleyball Scholarship. This scholarship is presented to a student who is a member of the volleyball team and is con continuing post-secondary education. The student also exhibits excellent academic performances as well as leadership qualities. Congratulations. Sloan Scrivener, I would like to thank my parents, family, friends, and coaches for helping me throughout my time at Dakota. Emma Shostowski, thank you to all my friends, family, and teachers for setting me up for a successful future. I plan to go to university and study science. Congrats to all my fellow grads. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. <laughs> Natasha Schwack, thank you to my friends and family. To be old and wise, you must first be young and stupid. Carter Skrimita, I'm very thankful for my friends, family, teachers, and coaches who have been with me through this journey. It came fast, but I'm excited for the next chapter. Emily Thomas, thank you to my parents and friends for helping me through the last four years, and special thanks to Mr. Shapiro for all the extra support. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Winnipeg. Congratulations. Miguel Ting Chui. If you have the opportunity to play this game called life, you have to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate their moment until it's fast. Tyrell Trinidad. 
I am very thankful for the teachers here at Dakota. I have learned so much and have gained the skills to prepare myself for life after high school. Aoife Ukrainik. I'm thankful to my teachers and peers for helping me learn to express myself and for making these past four years so memorable. They are also the recipient of the Victor Marie Wyatt Scholar Student Scholarship. Victor Wyatt was a long life educator at St. Patel along with his wife Marie. He established a bursary and a scholarship to be awarded annually to students graduating from St. Patel High School. Three scholarships are given out each year to students who have achieved high academic standing in their graduating year. Congratulations. Larissa Vanderzom. I'd like to thank my parents, friends, and family for believing in me and guiding me throughout these four years of high school. Sonia Wood. I would like to thank my teachers for everything in the past four years and putting up with me. I would also like to thank my friends for always being there for me and making school more interesting and never gets dull with friends around. Lastly, I'd like to thank my family for always telling me that I'm doing good in school. Lucas Yanshishin. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and coaches for making these last four years special. Horns down. Afchim Zara. Nice words aren't always true, and true words aren't always nice. Well, Ju, I would like to give thanks to the teachers, staff, and anyone who offered help to me in past months. Without your help, I couldn't make it this far all by myself. Leah Zerbeck. Thank you to my family and friends for constantly supporting me throughout high school. Also, thank you to Mr. Shapiro for always letting me get snacks during ACE log. I'd now like to introduce Miss Melanie Roma, who will be our next Master of Ceremonies. Hussam Abdul Karim. Thank you for my friend and teacher in the year and family. I feel great. <laughs> Khaled Afifi, thank you to my teachers. Adeolu Achakai, I'm on the road to success and I'm not slowing down. I'd like to thank my family and friends and everyone who has supported me through my journey. Steven, I can talk to him. I love you, Mom. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of York. <laughs> Fatima al -Awur. I want to thank my family and my teacher for supporting me.
Um, we're all salty. I wouldn't be here today for not for the support of my friends and my dad. They were always there for me. Jessica Meichi. Firstly, I would like to thank God for this journey. I'm also very grateful for my wonderful friends and most especially my family. My dad, who has always had me back through all those four years of high school, and my mom, who has always been there for me. She doesn't know how much I love her. Next for me, I am hoping to attend the U of M to pursue a degree in nursing. Arslan Babar. I'd like to thank all my friends and teachers who helped me get here. I will miss high school, but I can't wait to see what the future will bring. Cole Baldwin. It is through the support of my family, friends, and teachers that I've reached this point. Thank you to all of them. Baddy. I want to thank God for the blessings I've been given over these last four years. And I want to thank my friends and family for their support. I'm excited to see what the future holds. Jordan Boychuk. Better late than never. Thank you to everyone who helped me get here today. Bradford. My friends and family have helped push me to get to this point. Thank you. Justice Bradley. Thank you to the teachers who helped me to stay motivated and to see a business plan and a worth ethic for my future. Summer Brass. I want to give a thanks to my older sister Courtney Curtness for always being there and staying by my side even on my worst days. I want to give a thanks to my father Tom Curtness for helping me with my work and for driving me and my sister to school even in bad weather. Another big thanks to the rest of my family, my older brother Leslie, my sister Carrie, and my mother Loretta for all the support and love. Renata Cortina Garcia. Thank you, everyone. Dean Daniels. I would like to extend a big thank you to my mom, Courtney Curtis, for pushing me and loving me no matter what I do. I would also like to thank my papa, Tom Curtis, who also sat beside me for hours to help me with my work and understand better. Thank you to my uncle and my auntie and my nana for loving me and supporting me the rest of the way. Thank you. Medina Chismich. Mama always said pamit uglavu, but what if there's no pamit to begin with? Dat Tim Do. Do not let your circumstances control you. 
you change your circumstances. I would like to thank my friends and family who have supported me throughout my time here, especially my parents, for whom I am extremely grateful for all the sacrifices that they have made. Without them, I wouldn't be who I am today. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba, and they are also the recipient of the Luriel School Division Basic French Scholarship. This award was created with the amalgamation of the St. Vitale and St. Boniface School Divisions. It is given to students who has the highest standing in French 40S. Congratulations. Kayane Donaldson. Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Thank you to all the friends and family I've made along the way. Hand face up. Thank you to the teachers and staff who have helped me while I was at Dakota Collegiate. I also want to specially thank Miss Winter and Nate for always being on my side no matter what. Malachi Fang. Before anyone else, I want to use this opportunity to give credit to the person who did the most to get me here today, myself. There are others who contributed to my success, but I am proud of myself for making it to this day. Jordan Frakes. One tree can create a thousand matches. One match can burn a thousand trees. One negative thought can burn all positive thoughts. Carlos Garcia, the possession of anything begins in the mind. I want to thank my mom and everyone for supporting me throughout the years. Emmanuel Gabradinga. I am thankful for my family, friends, and my teachers, especially Ms. Davlet, Ms. Alexander, and all my family who supported me to get where I am today. Adam Dreeman. I would like to thank my teachers and friends for making my high school years so memorable. Nahum Hapte Georges. I want to thank my family and friends for supporting me throughout high school. Rachel Harding. I am thankful for everything I was able to accomplish and I am excited for my future. Thank you to my family and my friends who have helped me. <laughs> Jamie Heinrichs for Salt. Let anxiety be the last thing that stops you from pursuing new opportunities and stepping out of your comfort zone. A life controlled by fear is a lot less fun than one that isn't. Stacey Huang. I want to thank my teachers, friends, and family for supporting me along these past four years. Ahmed Ibrahim, courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. 
I want to give thanks to Mrs. Duta and all the teachers for all the help they given me in the past few months. Thank you for all the help that she offered. I will appreciate it forever. Kendra Lynn Janman. Thank you to everyone who stuck by my side through these four crazy years. But as you know, I'm not good at advice. So can I interest you in a sarcastic comment? Carrie Frail Juan. I thank the people who are with me and those who still are. Thank you and goodbye. Nate Yinky, as we take this next big step, it's gonna be a scary change for us all, but I know that we're gonna show the world what we're made of. Thank you to everyone who has been there for me through the years and to the teachers who taught me to love school and made me want to become an educator myself. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. They are also receiving a Mathematics Science Honors Award. And they are also the recipient of the MLA for Seine River Scholarship. This award, supported by Janice Morley Lecomte, recognizes academic achievement, community service, and school spirit. Congratulations. Daniel Karimi, thank you to my friends and family who supported me, but most of all, thank you to my mom. Bishop Klein, thanks everyone. Aubrey Lafleur. I have too many names to put here, but I've never had so much support in any school like that I got from Dakota. So I'd like to thank my family and all the staff here at Dakota Collegiate for my success. Thank you. Koi Lee. I'm thankful for having such amazing friends in this school. Maybe the real treasure was the friends that we made along the way. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. Jun Lee. After graduation, I plan to attend the University of Waterloo or the RMC to pursue a degree in civil engineering. Ethan Mailhar, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. They are also receiving a Mathematics Science Honors Award. And they are also the recipient of the Chown Centennial Entra Entrance Scholarship. The University of Manitoba, as part of its excellence in education initiative, allows each Manitoba high school to choose a student to receive the honor of attaining the Chown Scholarship. This scholarship recognizes academic excellence. Carrie Manuel, I did not get arrested. P.S. Love you, Mr. Scott. Anna Marco. I would like to thank all of my teachers and Mr. Shapiro for helping me throughout my time at Dakota, even through some of the rougher times. Now I look ahead to the rest of my life and what's in store for me. Daniel Massan. I'd like to thank my mom for keeping me accountable. She didn't let me get away with slacking off, ever.
Lucas McFarland. After graduation, I plan to attend the University of Manitoba to pursue computer science. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba, and they are also receiving a Mathematics Science Honours Award. Congratulations. Myron Mentuck. The classes were valuable, but the real education was the game. Mazin Muhammad. I just want to thank all my friends and family for helping me get this far and for all the memories we've made together. I never believed them when they said the time would fly, but with one blink of the eye, I went from playing tag and soccer during recess to graduating high school. Evan Nadeau. Thanks to all my friends, family, and teachers who pushed me through to get here, and those who continue to push me through this new part of my life. Chisholm and Jalita, I want to thank Dakota for being a place I could express myself, and the teachers for connecting with us, not just on a teacher and student level, but at a deeper level. Danielle Nikurandiza. After graduation, I plan on joining the workforce. Thank you to everyone at Dakota Collegiate. They are also receiving the Co-op Ed Award. I would like to call upon Jessica Yakutak to present this award. This award is awarded to students for displaying independence, a positive attitude, and a strong work ethic. Congratulations. Joel Odogun, thank you to my family and friends for supporting me through this journey with its ups and downs. This is just the beginning of a new chapter. Daniel Odusheso, I am grateful to all staffs and students for making this a fun and memorable year. And I want to thank my family for caring for me. And I want to thank my friends for being supportive. Chanbin O. Oh. I'm very thankful to everyone who helped me to become a good student. So Manny Otterbein. Everyone wants to know what I would do if I didn't graduate. I guess we'll never know. Cameron Provo. I'm thankful for my family who helped motivate me to do well in school and my teachers who taught me well. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. Kokoa. I'm thankful for my family and teachers who have helped me over the years. I couldn't have done it without you all. Armand Rayat, I would like to thank my parents for helping me along the way. Aisha Raza, I'd like to thank all of my Propel peers for supporting me on a wild new journey. A huge thank you to Ms. Belanger, Ms. Sue, and Mr. Shapiro for always keeping me grounded. And a special thank you to Tal Ali for being the best friend I could ever ask for. Here's to New Horizons. Tierra Redhead Trout, 
I have enjoyed my time at Dakota. I met many amazing people. I'm looking forward to graduating and starting a new job. Goodbye, Dakota, and good luck to all the graduates. Liam Rice, strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Matias Rosero Fernando. The circuit of life, though, is to fall seven times and to get up eight times. Alejandra Marcela Ruano Barahon. I want to thank my parents and family and friends for always supporting me and being there for me. Without them, I would not have come so far. Thank you. Matthew Shutka. My favorite experience at Dakota were the concerts we got to put on as a band. Thank you, Mr. Ritchie, for making band something I look forward to every day. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. Congratulations. Sanya Shah, thank you to all my teachers for all they've done for me in the past four years. They are also receiving an entrance scholarship to the University of Manitoba. They are also receiving a Mathematics Science Honors Award, and they are also the recipient of the Robert C. Taylor Memorial Scholarship. Bob Taylor's career at Dakota Collegiate spanned over three decades. He was renowned for his engaging classes and his incredible involvement in the many facets of student life. This award has been created to recognize and celebrate a student who has excelled in various social studies courses and displayed a high degree of citizenship and communi community involvement while attending Dakota Collegiate. Congratulations. I get the hit. I am very thankful for my wonderful fans, and family who have made me into the person I am today. She have shake. I want to say thank you to all the different people in my life who helped me along the way. Olivia Sertonsky, I want to thank my mom, my dad, and my little brother, and all the teachers that I've met during my four years at Dakota. I'm planning to take the baking and pastry course, and I hope to share what I create with others. Joseph Terminez, the secret of showmanship is to be constantly doing two things at once one for the audience to see, and one to go unnoticed. Nanatisan, I'm happy to see we got through this together. I just wish it was in person the whole time. Shout out to my pal Alex Hoppe for keeping in contact with me through the pandemic. Let's just hope future generations don't go through what we did. Nduka Uguna, tough times never last, only tough people last. Jason Vong, if there's a wall in our way, then we smash it down. If there isn't a path, then we carve one ourselves. They are also receiving a Mathematics Science Honors Award. Congratulations.
Serena White. I'd like to thank my dad for giving me the strength to get through the past 17 years. Jordan Wood, I would like to thank all my teachers, especially Ms. Sunra, for all their help. I would also like to thank my family for everything they have done to help me. Stan Wu. Don't ever stress over losing a friend. They're easily replaceable and affordable. <laughs> Arion Zakiri. Most people are slowed down by their perception of themselves. If you are taught that you can't do anything, you won't do anything. Elijah and Brewster. I want to say thank you to my mom for pushing me through to get here today. Alex Zappa. I'd like to thank my art teachers, Ms. Duma and Ms. McLeod, for all the encouragement with my weird cartoons. Mr. Butt for just being a great teacher, as well as Mr. Shapiro and my mom, who helped and encouraged me to be able to graduate. Ahmed Mohammed Noor Saleh. Thanks to my family and friends and teacher for always being there when I need them the most. Last but certainly not least, the presentation of the Governor General's Medal and the Louis Riel School Division Legacy Scholarship Award. I would like to call up Assistant Superintendent Kirk Darcy Cormack to present the, this prestigious award with Principal Jill Maffe. The Governor General's Medal were, were instituted in 1873 by the Earl of Dufferin, who was the Governor General of Canada from 1872 to 1878 to encourage scholarship across the New Dominion. The Governor General's Medal is awarded to the student who graduates with the highest standing, a mark of academic excellence. The Louriel School Division Legacy Scholarship was created to recognize academic excellence, excellence sorry, by a student in their graduating year. These two awards are presented to the student with the overall highest academic average for the student's grade 11 and 12 years. We are pleased to present these awards to Dempsey Francis. Dempsey, please come forward to accept these prestigious awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for a round of applause for Dakota Collegiate's graduating, graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Graduates, if you haven't done so already, you may move your tassel from the right side to the left. I would now, now like to call upon Trust Jude Ogu, this year's valedictorian for the class of 2022, to come and give the valedictory address. Trust?
I would like to extend a warm welcome to all present here today. Elated parents, honored guests, members of faculty, and last but certainly not least, the graduating class of 2022. My name is Trust Jude Ogu, and I am honored to have the privilege of speaking on behalf of my classmates. Today marks the end of four momentous years of our lives. Four chapters of the many volumes we have yet to fill with our life story. One influential writer and philosopher described life as a journey. As we sit here today, adorned in our black and gold gowns and graduate caps, eagerly anticipating the roads ahead of us, we also reminisce about the roads that are now behind us, the brief portion of our shared journey. Perhaps the most unpredictable, trying four years we have ever experienced. And to think it all began in our freshman year in the fall of 2018, when four years of anything felt insurmountable. When the simple question, what do you want to be when you grow up, didn't sound so daunting. When 1,100 people packed in a gymnasium didn't ring any alarm bells. It was our first year of, well, firsts. Our first Lancapalooza, our first junior varsity games, taking home multiple wins. Our first exams, our first hamper time. Our first time coming across Mr. Scott and his extravagant outfits. Grade 10 rolled in and we got our first junior varsity SCAC championships for both girls and boys basketball. Many even got their first learner's license. Those were our first, ye first years of new experiences, but what would be our last years of normalcy? Suddenly, those smooth paved roads we were traveling on became riddled with potholes. We endured through multiple codes, red, yellow, and orange, being separated from our friends in different cohorts, not being able to engage in the activities that we enjoy, and logging into one team's meeting after another. Although our grade, year, our grade 11 year was nothing like what we had imagined, we learned to adjust to this new normal. This meant learning to remain two feet apart and maneuvering through the jumble of arrows that decorated the hallways. As pandemic conditions improved, our final year signaled our return to normalcy, or at least something very close to it. We were once again able to enjoy our outstanding musical theater productions, like this year's Shrek the Musical. Our EAL program combined with our diligent BIPOC committee to create a memorable cultural day. And it was amazing to see the diverse and beautiful cultural makeup of Lancer Nation. Perhaps the best part of our final year, though, is right now, being able to have a normal graduation ceremony. Yes, this journey certainly hasn't been an easy one, but our presence here today is evidence that we finished it victorious. And there is no doubt that with such resilience, we will be able to navigate our way successfully through whatever challenges the future may bring. However, we could not have made it here alone. We needed the help of those more qualified, more experienced to guide and direct us. Thank you to the staff for working tirelessly day in and day out to ensure that we receive the best education we could while remaining safe during these unprecedented times. We cannot even begin to imagine how stressful this must have been for you. Thank you for your resilience, for helping us realize our full potential when we felt unsure of ourselves, for equipping us with vital skills that will allow us to flourish in the real world. The graduating class wants you to know how deeply we appreciate your efforts. 
Also, special thanks to our administration for making Dakota a school that fosters individuality, respect, and inclusion. Thank you especially to our student services teacher, Mr. Shapiro, for putting up with us throughout these four years. I know there must have been numerous occasions when we ran you mad, but thank you for always being someone we could rely on and confide in. To our beloved parents and guardians, we thank you for your love and unwavering support, for driving us to our various sport games, for being patient with us whenever we asked for help on a school assignment right after you came home from work, for being our confidants and hype men, for keeping us in check. Many of us here today are children of immigrant parents. Those who, despite the challenges they would have to face, chose to restart their lives in an unfamiliar country to ensure that their children ha had a better future. We thank you for your loving sacrifices and only hope to one day emulate your level of perseverance. Finally, friends, thank you for making school life bearable, for, keeping up, for helping us take life a little less seriously, for filling our hearts with laughter and joy. I'll miss stressing over tests and exams together in the cafeteria and taking our daily trips to family foods just to spend our paychecks on chicken strip meals. Although it's possible that our paths might not cross again, the memories we'll, we made will last a lifetime. Our parting, though sad, brings with it much to look forward to. Some of our athletes have been committed to various programs. Others are moving to different provinces to pursue their passions. And others are diving straight into the workforce. Whatever our endeavors may be, we will be continuously be faced with new challenges throughout our lives. Challenges that go beyond our test marks and grade averages. However, if there's anything these four years have taught us, it is how to adapt and persist. We should take pride in the fact that we successfully completed our final two years of high school amidst the worst pandemic of this century. As a result, we have become more brave, tenacious, and self-disciplined. Consequently, our experiences here at Dakota Collegiate should leave us confident that we can handle whatever curveballs life throws at us and leave us feeling even more determined to get back up and keep, being, and keep going despite the obstacles. Most of all, it should leave us assured that we have loved ones that are willing to help us get back on our feet and root for our success. So may we make the most out of our journey, challenges and all, because we only get one chance. So let's make it one with as few regrets as possible. Congratulations to Dakota Collegiate's graduating class of 2022. We've got this. Graduates, get ready to throw up your hats in celebration of this memorable event. In three, two, one, congratulations! As this year's valedictorian, we would like to present you with that award. This brings to a close our convocation ceremony. I would like to invite our row, our row marshals to take their positions. We ask the invited guests and audience to remain seated as the graduates will exit first, followed by our dignitaries, platform guests, and staff. I would like to introduce Mr. Darren Ritchie, who will be forming What a Wonderful World as the graduates exit. Enjoy the rest of the graduation celebrations. Today we honor our graduates of 2022, our Lancers for Life. Congratulations.
Thank you, Mr. Darren Ritchie. Not only as, am I known as the principal at Dakota Collegiate, I'm also known as the party wrecker. Uh, we obviously have a number of chairs that we need to be taken down and put away. All staff, once you get changed, we will welcome you back out here in the next 20 minutes to help us take down our wonderful Convocation 2022 ceremony.